By now, you've either heard about or read the Carrie Duncan Facebook post that stirred up so many emotions. That post is the basis for a series of reports we are airing all this week about body shaming. Karen Abernathy joins us now with Carrie's perspective. In that Facebook post, Carrie shared a venomous email she received from a TV viewer regarding her weight. Thousands of people came to her defense and commented and shared the post, resulting in national and even international attention. While it initially caused pain and anger, Carrie is moving forward and focusing on what's most important in her life. She hopes sharing her message will help others learn to do the same. It was as if someone sat down and was like, I want to write the meanest thing that I can ever say to anybody ever. And that's what she did. The email Carrie Duncan is talking about not only attacked her weight gain, it attacked her hair, her clothing, and even brought her husband and children into the fray. I shouldn't have to read stuff like that. No one should. Like, it's, it's not constructive, it's not helpful, it's pure hate. And that's why Carrie and her husband Dan have taken the high road. Carrie chose not to reveal the person's identity who sent the email, even though many of her fans encouraged her to do so. Retaliation wasn't a part of their plan. There's not much you can do or say to people like that. Um, I think they're more miserable with themselves and they, that's their way of expressing the way they feel. Um, and they try and do it by dragging other people down. So their opinion really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. And they just want you to be as miserable as they are. When they're that mean, you just kind of go, <laughs> I mean, I almost honestly feel sorry for her that she has so much hate for me, someone she doesn't even know. It's just like, why? I mean, why? It doesn't, to me, I, I just, I can't fathom that much hate. Ironically, the hate-filled email came at one of the happiest times in Carrie's and her family's life. I got you, Mommy. She and Dan had recently welcomed their second son into the world. Carter is seven months old now. Their firstborn, Bradley, is almost three. <laughs> Sitting at 40 years old now, I'm able to look at things and I'm not where I want to be but I'm more comfortable in my body than I've ever been because while my body is bigger than what I want it to be, it has grown two beautiful boys and they're my life. And you know, I just I know that that is something that so many people want and they can't do. And so my heart hurts for them. So despite the fact that she is at one of her heaviest points in her life, and that's something she wants to change, she knows what is most important. And her family life helps put things like hateful emails in perspective. She says her children are gifts she's especially thankful for because Carrie and Dan got a little later start than some couples, marrying in their mid-30s. I couldn't have asked for anything better than the way I have it right now in my life. Um, with Carrie and the two sons that I have, it's so... Uh, it's what I waited for. I look at myself as so blessed and I have two healthy babies and that's a miracle in itself. So I'm so thankful. And when you are a thankful person, it's really hard to be a hateful person. When we come back, how Carrie turned a negative into a positive with a little help from South Mississippi. Before the break, we saw what an emotional roller coaster the past couple of months have been for our chief meteorologist, Carrie Duncan. But one thing we've always known about Carrie, she has a way of finding the positive. And what she hopes for is that her post, along with tonight's stories, will in some small way lead to a kinder world. I mean, it's a, people concentrate on other people so much instead of being in the moment and, and living the life that they're meant to live and enjoy life. I just, it's just sad sometimes that people feel like they need to put others down to make them feel better it, because it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't in the end make anybody feel better. Peppers first, huh? And Carrie and her husband Dan hope sharing her post will encourage people to think before they speak. You're not telling somebody something they don't know. 
It's not like a newsflash. Oh, I'm overweight. I didn't. I had no idea. I don't see myself every day in a mirror. I don't have to dress this every day. I, I see myself every day. I know. I know what I look like. And while this most recent email may be the most hateful she has received, it's unfortunately not the first. She has now worked at WLOX for more than 15 years. And as all of us know on TV, people are quick to say what they don't like about you. One of my first emails when I got here was send that fat lady packing. That was one of the first emails that I got. And I was much smaller then than I am now. You know, they say if I could just go back to that weight when I first thought I was fat, I would be so happy. <laughs> and her weight is something she's working on juggling her busy schedule with family and work. She's also starting to work out at the gym again, three times a week with a personal trainer. I'm not doing it for anyone other than me, and I'm trying, and it is a daily battle. Oh, I think there are more people than not who are the same way, up, up and down, up and down, and, and just fighting that, fighting a daily battle, and so, we can just be more encouraging to people. Maybe that would not make people so depressed to where they want to go eat a sleeve of cookies. Or... And the encouragement she has received from the community is helping her move forward. I was so overwhelmed with emotion from all of the support that I had. And Carrie's post made internet headlines from Yahoo in the UK and Canada to national headlines at home. And now she hopes her message will encourage more people to spread kindness. Spread compliments spread positivity. It's easy to find the negative in every situation, but there's positive in every situation too. And if you can find the positive, that's when you're gonna be winning. It's a message they are already trying to instill in their own children. A message they say needs to start at home. Just be nice. You know, kindness matters. And that's a great message to end on and something all of us should keep in mind really is uplifting story, I think, for everyone. And it's like what Carrie said, find, you know, the positive in every situation, and she really does. And Certainly, she actually yeah. helps us here. Always, yeah. And we want to thank those of you who allowed us to tell your stories throughout this week, including Carrie and anyone who joined the conversation on social media. We'll have all the stories we've done this week on body shaming and additional information in the extras section of the WLOX News app.